God, Charlie. Charlie, oh, quick, I don't know what to do. I was messing around with some magic potions, and then this happened. Oh, my Lord. I can smell my butthole. I'm just kidding, guys. This is all an illusion. I'm gonna show you guys how to cut yourselves in half. What's up everybody? So today's video is exactly what you just saw. I show you guys how to cut yourselves in half. Now this is very similar to the levitation video I did where it is a illusion, obviously, because you can't actually cut yourself in half. Now I don't know exactly where you do this trick because just like the levitation one, it can literally only be seen from one angle. But just like the last video, I wanna give you guys the tools on how to do it, and then that way you guys can put your own spin on it. It's so friggin' easy, you barely need any materials, and it makes for just a really cool photo. Anyways, let's get into it, guys. This is how you cut yourself in half, or the illusion of cutting yourself in half. So here's what you need. Ooh, look at that transition. Yeah, you saw that transition. First things first, I went to Value Village. You can go to Goodwill, you can go to the thrift store, whatever. And that's just because you can go there and get discounted clothes that you can actually cut up and not expend a ton of money on brand new clothing for this. First thing I did was I went to the extra large section. I got this big ass button up shirt. As you can see, it's this like plaid, orange plaid shirt. It is extra large and it is actually tall. If you look at the tag, some of them will actually tell you if it's tall. You want it to be as long as possible. Next thing I bought was a white t-shirt. I wanted to try this illusion on different types of clothing. I got the button up plaid and then I wanted to get just a plain white t-shirt. I got this for $2.99. The ideal shirt will fall just above your knees in the thigh region. Mid to lower thigh is where you want that t-shirt to kind of go down. Next, you're gonna wanna pick up some tall pants. Now these ones have to go almost up to your nipples. If you guys are, <laughs> I still can't say nipples without laughing. I hate that word. It's so friggin' funny. The pants you have to get have to be tall, extra long pants. Usually these will come in bigger waistlines. Just don't go too big, because you're gonna be like, hey guys, I cut myself in half. It's like, no man, you're not thousand pounds. The ones that I got fell just below my chest. That is ideal. No question the pants have to be taller than the belly button. Next you're going to grab some balloons. Now I will say because I've already shot the video the balloons didn't necessarily really work out for me. However I'm sure you guys can make them work. And last but not least you need scissors. You will be cutting the clothing. And that's literally all you need for this trick. All right now let's get into building it. First we're going to take our plaid shirt. This is the extra large plaid shirt. You're going to want to cut a horizontal line from shoulder blade to shoulder blade. Make sure it's not too close to the collar and that it's a couple inches below. So where I'm cutting right now is perfect. After you cut that line, you're gonna go in the middle and cut down just a couple inches. So now we have the horizontal line across from shoulder blade to shoulder blade, and we have like a T formation cutting downwards. You see, we're not actually wearing the button-up shirt. We're only wearing the top half of the button-up shirt. It looks like I'm wearing the shirt, but I'm not actually wearing the shirt. Next, we're gonna grab our tall pants. Now, you're gonna wanna lay the pants crotch downwards. We're gonna make two cut marks just below the kneecaps on the backside, just about like below the knee high calf area, like here and here. This technique allows us to control the legs without actually being inside of the pants. Now, this part, this is where I started using the balloons. I inflated some balloons about the size of my head, and the, and the idea here was I was gonna take them and shove them in the pant legs just to have thicker, more human-like legs. It looked too bulgy. I just felt that it kind of took away from the illusion, actually. I do know that there is a way to make it look good. I just, I just didn't do it. I decided just to take a pillow, like this pillow, and just kind of put it in the waistline so I could look like I'm grabbing my waist instead of just holding pants like I just tried them on at the store. Now that we're in costume, the formation of your body actually matters here. First, you're gonna hold the pants completely straight. It is very easy when performing this illusion to not realize that you're kind of slanted or that your knees are buckling. Next, you're gonna wanna bend down and kind of turn your body while keeping your head straight. So instead of being your body straight like this, you're gonna kind of be like this. By having that shirt on, it will drape straight down and hide this curve right here. Now if I show that intro again right now, now that you guys know the trick, you can see how my body is contorted. But now seeing it, you can be like, oh yeah, his body just kind of goes like that. <laughs> this is sick. This is my first time doing it, guys. I've never done this before. I'm seeing it for the first time right now. There. <laughs> That's so unreal. Now I gotta get a picture, which by the way is gonna be on my Instagram, at Danocracy. Go check it out because I'm gonna take a bunch and that one's gonna be the best one. At Danocracy, go check out my photo on Instagram. Give it a freaking like and follow. It's kind of like how you were in a relationship in high school. It looks like you're in one, but really you're only half in. <laughs> ah, look at that. Look at that. Okay, so there you guys have it. That is how you guys cut yourselves in half for like really good photo opportunities. Um, I literally don't know what else you'd use this for because this position is super uncomfortable. <laughs> you got your legs just like, ah. Whoop. Oh my god, I cut myself in half! Still gotta work on that one. If you guys enjoyed this video and you'd love to see how to levitate more than a foot off the ground, there'll be a link in the description down below. With that being said, if you guys like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like, share it with your friends. Be sure to go over to my Instagram, at Danocracy, to check out the photo I took with my body cut in half. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya!
See you guys later.